Mm, how to draw hair. In today's video, we are talking about drawing hair. I'll share with you three tips that might make the process a little bit less overwhelming, hopefully a little bit easier. So keep watching. My name is Pietru and this is the Artifacts 23 Studio. I apologize in advance for the birdies you keep hearing in the background. I have three lovebirds. Um, it's a bit chilly here in South Africa at the moment, so it's too cold to take them outside. And their cage is right outside the studio. Okay, quickly before we jump into the video, um, it really helps the channel out if you give us a like, um, leave comments or ask questions, um, ring the bell for notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move on. Okay, tip number one, draw the shapes rather than individual strands of hair. The thing about drawing hair is that we tend to look at the hair as individual strands of hair rather than different shapes. We all remember our first drawings when we were drawing hair as curvy or straight lines around the heads of our stick figures. Well, actually that's not completely wrong, but let me explain. Take a look at my first little figure there. Let's pretend that the dark lines are actually the shadows in the hair. Now let's fill those shapes with a mid-tone and then remove some of the tones again with an eraser for highlights. Not exactly realistic, but this is the basic idea. When you draw hair, look at the various shapes in the hair and draw those first, following the curve and direction of the hair. I just took some pictures from a magazine to demonstrate what I mean by this. Recognize the shapes and start from there. Notice the direction the hair is growing in or the flow of a curl or kink in the hair. It's up to you what you would like to start on after that. You might like to start with the darker tones first and then build up the mid-tones. Generally, you would leave your highlights for last. I prefer to lay down a base of mid-tones, filling in the shapes and gradually building up the darker shades and highlights. Okay, here's a bonus tip for you. Really look at your reference picture. Study the shapes that you see in the hair rather than the individual strands of hair. It will be a lot less overwhelming. Okay, moving on to tip number two, creating depth. To create depth in the hair, work slowly. And by that I mean work in layers. Lay down pigment and blend it out. Now the next layer, lay down pigment and blend it out. And so on and so on. If you're looking to create a realistic effect, it might take a few layers and a lot of practice, but just keep going. With every layer, you will see the difference. Okay, here's your last tip. Tip number three, go darker. Okay, this is going to be a bit scary at first, but don't be afraid to go darker in the shadow areas. We've all been there. You, you get up to a certain stage in the drawing and then you get stuck. Mostly because we're afraid we're going to ruin our drawing by going a bit darker. Believe me, I know. But to achieve an overall realistic look in almost any artwork, contrast is very important. And you get contrast by dark darks and light lights. Okay, another quick little bonus tip. Start off with a light sketch. It's easier to go darker gradually than to try and remove unwanted dark pigment later on in your sketch. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope these tips will help you with your drawings. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, I will see you in the next video and remember to follow your art.